And welcome back. Let's take you to the Keystone, which is going to really feel the impact of Ada. And local 10's Kristen De La Rosa has been there in Key West for us all day long. How are things looking now in, in uh, Key West there, Christian? Yeah, well, it's been a long waiting game, but we've moved to Stock Island. It's an area that's known for its mobile home communities and known for this uh, flooding that we're seeing here, standing water right now. And what's concerning about this, you know, we've been talking about you know, what you guys have been seeing up in Miami-Dade and Broward counties, we've gotten maybe a fraction of that. So think of once that steady, heavy downpour starts coming down, how this will look, what this will turn into. And look at how close we are to the water here in this marina. The calm before Ada in Key West. Tourists finally deserting Duval Street as businesses close their doors ahead of what may be to come. Bad timing for these newlyweds. This is our honeymoon. We just got married yesterday. So Congratulations. As we're landing today is how we're also hearing about everything that's going to happen and we're like we're already on the plane. Locals prepared early, moving their vehicles to higher grounds. A shelter opening at Key West High School. Workers at Margaritaville, one of the first to shut their doors and board up. We get a heavy rain during high tide and the water rises up through the sewer drains. That's so your biggest concern? My, yeah, the biggest concern is definitely the floodwaters with all of this. So we decided not to open today. We're concerned with the safety of our staff and making sure that they're home and they're not caught out in any of this. Emergency officials say the worst threat will come in form of flooding, upwards of 18 inches of rain in some areas, combined with high tide. Boat homes and mobile homes facing mandatory evacuations, but many stayed put. People get really stubborn about the idea of leaving. I mean, sometimes it's it appears irrational, but, you know, this is their home and they feel the need to be here to protect uh, their property. So neighbors in this area here in Stock Island tell me that, you know, once uh, the winds start picking up and the rain combined with the high tide, that seawater that we, you were just looking at usually starts accumulating with the uh, flooding that this area gets here from the rain. And just think of what a dangerous and messy situation that can spell into for all the residents here that, by the way, are under a mandatory evacuation, but a lot of them have not left. We're live in Key West. I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News.